so welcome to the second video on my page the android concepts so this video is all about giving you the information related to the books the concepts and the pro tips If you are a fresher who wants to start your career in the Embraid domain or if you are an enthusiastic who wants to gain knowledge on Embraid topics. So let me start with the concepts firstly. So if you are a fresher who wants to learn the Embraid in a smoother way, the first concept you need to learn a C programming language. Yes, what you have heard is correct. You have to learn C programming language. As we all know, C is one of the most fundamental language if you want to start with any other language. Because this is the area, this is like a foundation where you'll be learning syntax from scratch. From syntax to writing of the program. You'll be learning all the concepts like uh, decision statements, syntax, and uh, functions, arrays, pointers, random computer allocation, and so on. So, you need to learn all the concepts each and very well. So the pro tip what I want to give you is I'm not asking you to be a pro in programming. So if you know the basic syntax, if you know the basic uh, functionalities on the C programming, it's okay. It's okay if you can, uh, which will help you to go to the next extent. And the pro tip number two. So when you are learning C programming, try to learn programming on bits. So try to learn programs on bits firstly. Why? Because when you go for an interview, the interviewer will be first asking you to uh, write the program on bits. If you are a person who can tackle programming on bits perfectly, it means that he'll understand. Okay, this person can able to tackle uh, programming on bits. It means can he will be definitely sure he can able to program on bytes. So, uh, programming on bits is nothing but you have to learn programs like uh, how to toggle a bit, how to clear a bit, how to set a bit, how to shift a bit, how to uh, like this all the functionalities on the bits itself. So, if you want to start or if you want to learn uh, C programming from scratch, so I'll be suggesting you a one of the book. So, this is one of the book. I can suggest you is C in depth. So this is one of the best book I can able to suggest you. Here you'll be having all examples after each and every concept thoroughly which can brush up and after each and every lesson you'll be having some uh, exercises which can brush up your brain. And this is all about the concept number one and coming to concept number two. So the second concept you need to learn is nothing but any of the microcontrollers or any of the microprocessors yes you need to learn about any of the hardware so why because as you're a beginner so if you want to learn if you want to go with any of the hardware you need uh, you should be able to know like what is the pin configuration so how many pins are there so what is the functionality of each and every pin like what are the parts in it like how many counters so how many uh, timers so what are the interfaces we can able to uh, interface with it like what are the protocols this particular hardware will be supporting and all the stuff so if you are a beginner so i can suggest you one of the microcontroller and one of the microprocessor not only for freshers so those who wants to start or those who wants to learn uh, gain knowledge on embedded topics so if you want to go for the microcontroller you can able i can suggest you like 8051 microcontroller or if you want to go for the microprocessor you can able to go with the 8086 microprocessor definitely for sure you need to learn about both microprocessor and microcontroller because learning both of them will be able to understand like what is the difference between microprocessor and what is the difference between the microcontroller so if you want to learn microcontroller and microprocessor in one of the book so i'll be suggesting you one of the best book so this is the book i'm having so the microcontroller and the embrace systems the 805 microcontroller and embrace systems along with c and assembly language so this is book by mazidi so i'll be keeping you the paper back on my uh, on the next video so on this slide <laughs> this book i bought from 400 rupees so this is one of the best book where you can get gain knowledge on uh, 8051 and 80 microprocessor like uh, uh, when interfacing with many devices like uh, timers, counters, LCD and so on. So along with the C programming language, you'll be learning uh, with assembly language also, which will be one of the added advantage. So 
and this is all about the micro microcontroller and microprocessor in the next concept you need to learn is the third concept is nothing but the embedded c yes uh, so, and then learning embedded c is one of the most easiest part because uh, in embedded c you'll be having somewhat extension of uh, the topics which you have found in c like different data types like different uh, syntaxes and so on so like timers and so on so if you learn embedded c in one of the book so i'll be suggesting this book only again so here you'll be having all the concepts related to uh, the topics which you have to learn in embedded c also so and uh, these are all the things which i can suggest you like uh, pro tips and uh, and the books what i uh, required so if you want uh, any suggestions on the books or if you want any suggestions on the topics which are important so you can just comment on me below so i'll be helping you so meet you next time until then bye bye